wow, it's a lot of computer time. Um, but what's been great is that there's constituents all over the state that are participating that wouldn't have done that normally. Uh, while I don't think this is a extremely long-term situation and having to be remote, I think we're making the best of it. And it's just a great reminder that there's a lot of people working really hard to make sure Washington State's running well. The legislature has been talking about remote testimony for years now. I know the Senate's had a little bit more experience in the House, um, which was great because it gave us a little bit of uh, food for thought and we were able to really in, um, put a program in that was really seems to be working well for everyone. I'm now a vice chair of appropriations and I'm still on state government and tribal relations. Um, but that new vice chair role with appropriations is really a game changer for me. I would say that most of my days are spent deliberating on the budget. Yeah, House Bill 1212, Right to Repair, has been something that we've been deliberating on for several years now. And it's just become more and more important with COVID, everyone working and learning from home and making sure that those with uh, lesser resources are able to keep their devices working. Um, this is such, such a great bill because it's good for the economy. It's great product stewardship. We know that on average, 175 pounds of e-waste is dumped every year. Uh, and I think we can do better. I think this is a great time to do that. I'm really excited about the diverse group of stakeholders coming together uh, to really deliberate and hopefully work on this bill in a way that we can get it all the way to the governor's desk this year. While it feels like we're disconnected because we aren't together in person, that my legislative assistant and intern and I are working very hard. We're just a phone call or email away. So please continue to reach out. We're reading your emails. We're taking it all in and trying to do absolutely the very best we can to serve you. And until then, please stay healthy, please stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you in person soon.